The situation in Zanzibar is uh, very tragic and uh, can become more, and more tragic if it's not handled well as soon as, uh, as possible. Because uh, uh, in terms of the elections, the elections went well. The votes were counted in the polling stations. And then after counting the polling stations, the votes went to the uh, constituency, where the uh, returning officer for the constituency uh, did the tallying of all votes from the polling stations, added and announced who is the winner for the uh, House of Representatives for the constituency. And they, they gave him a certificate. They also uh, added the uh, tallying of the votes for the president of Zanzibar and they announced the results. So the results for the 54 constituencies of Zanzibar, the presidential results, are available and they were in the public domain. Then the, 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 the um, Zanzibar Electoral Commission was just doing the confirmation of the results. They did check on the results of uh, 31 constituencies and uh, they announced the results of 31 constituencies. They checked the results of another nine constituencies, but the chairman was not available to announce them. And uh, so they remained with 14 constituencies to finish the job of tallying the results. So, 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 uh, apparently, uh, just from nowhere, as uh, his colleagues were waiting for the chairman to come in to complete the job, the chairman was not there. And the vice chairman started continuing with the process. And then uh, some um, uh, authorities, uh, the police came and uh, basically arrested uh, the vice chairman. They took the vice chairman to the police station. And then uh, the chairman announced uh, he has cancelled the elections. He did not court any law, nor did he court the uh, constitution where the powers of cancelling the election came from. And he had not met with his colleagues. To, 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 to make that particular decision. Then he called uh, a meeting in uh, November, 1st November, uh, to ask these colleagues uh, uh, to support him. Three of his colleagues uh, just stated, okay, Mr. Chairman, we support you. Uh, the other said that, how can we support you? You are breaking the, 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 the law, you are breaking the uh, uh, Zanzibar constitution. And so he posted something in the uh, Zanzibar Gazette that uh, he has cancelled the results. He did not say that they've cancelled the elections, he's cancelled the results. And he has disappeared. Since then he's not available, his colleagues are looking for him, they've not met. And uh, so the uh, CCM is just claiming that, well, uh, the Electoral Commission has cancelled the results, so the results will have to be, uh, the elections will have to be redone in 90 days. But he didn't announce when the new elections will be run. Uh, he did not step down. Uh, and uh, the accusations which he made, which uh, when you talk to the people in the Zanzibar Electoral Commission, uh, is, is just not true. And so we are in a situation whereby uh, uh, basically no one knows uh, what's going on. So uh, uh, the way uh, forward to avoid uh, really major problems in Zanzibar is uh, basically uh, for the uh, Electoral Commission to complete its job of telling and to announce uh, its results. Because you have a vice chairman there and you have the other uh, uh, is it uh, five other members uh, of, uh, of the commission? These six uh, form a quorum. Mm -hmm. uh, the political solution, you, you cannot run uh, another election because the, the cancellation of elections, the, the, the uh, electoral commission does not have the powers mm -hmm. to cancel an election. Mm -hmm. No, the chairman not uh, the chairman, not the uh, commission as a whole, have the power to cancel an election that has already been run. And in fact, in, for the cases of members of the House of Representatives, uh, uh, you have to take uh, the case to the court of law in order to annul their being elected. The only way to deal with this problem now is uh, you can't continue. You just don't have a 
cabinet, you don't have a House of Representatives, uh, and uh, I'm sure people in the administration, particularly those in those areas where there is uh, money involved in collection of taxes, in collection of uh, uh, revenues at the airport, people must be stealing whatever they want to steal there, because basically you don't have any government nor administration okay. in place. Okay. So the way to deal with this is, uh, is uh, for, 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 um, uh, for the president, uh, to call uh, the, the um, uh, vice, uh, let's say the two candidates, uh, to have a discussion with them. Uh, because it is also embarrassing to the president, because he was elected in the same election in Zanzibar. The votes for the president of the United Republic have been counted. The votes for uh, the uh, members of parliament of the United Republic of Tanzania from Zanzibar have been recognized. So you have 25 members of parliament uh, from uh, CUF, 25 members of parliament from CCM. These have been recognized. But on the same elections where you have all these votes, you accept them, but you do not accept the votes for the Zanzibar election. It does not make sense. It is really, really very, very embarrassing. And you don't want to have this thing continuing, uh, which will lead to, to, to a crisis. Mm -hmm. It is. You cannot tell people who have participated in this election, they know they've elected their, their president, they've elected uh, members of the House of uh, Representatives, to tell them that they have to go to another election without giving basic reasons. And particularly to go to another election by the same commission, by the same secretariat. If, in fact, you have said these guys uh, have uh, uh, basically uh, made uh, problems in this particular election, how can you accept them to be to manage the next election? Uh, and uh, it is uh, it is uh, it's terrible. It's, uh, it shouldn't have happened. Uh, but uh, there's a big problem that our colleagues in system probably uh, don't want to accept. It. Uh, the will of the people.